bunch of fish coming in there. Oh, belly roll. Okay, we got some flashing up here, 12 o'clock player in the sand, right of where you're pointing. Is that them right there? Yep. This is where having the right kind of sunglasses is really important because we have to be able to see those fish. And if you don't have the right shade or the right polarized lenses, they'll go right by you and you'll never notice they were there. Right there. Right there. They slowed down right there. Now they're by it. That looks good. Should be off. There's one. Go on, but you got the rod out of my hand. Ugh. That was a good hit. It, like you said, just need a little bit of wind to turn on and it just... That's a nice one. It's like somebody turned the light switch on, isn't it? Yeah, all of a sudden they're eating. These are perfect fish to test these rods out with. If y'all notice the blue rods, it's the first time we've had them on the show. I told you in a bait check a little earlier in the season we were going to talk about them. We have been doing R&D on these rods for about six or eight months now. And let me tell you something. If you're worried that they're going to be too expensive, don't let the price of these ones fool you. Because they're going to be a lot cheaper, a lot less expensive than the other Signature Series. And they're twice as strong. And I think they're about twice as pretty too. Not quite as pretty as that beautiful redfish, but it don't take them long to wear out in this hot water. Our water temperature right now is probably getting up in the 90 degree range. And these fish are just now starting to get active in this hot weather. This is unbelievable how hot the water is. We were out here yesterday pre-fishing them, you know, trying to find out where all the fish were. And I caught one about three or four o'clock in the afternoon. And when I grabbed him, he was just, he was hot. Felt like he'd just come out of the oven. And this one here, isn't quite as hot, but he's still kind of warm. Beautiful fish though. And that that is a, a perfect redfish. That's like what you see drawings of because this one has one spot on one side and one on the other. Neat. Yeah, that's about our average size fish in Mosquito Lagoon, seven, eight pound fish. That is a beautiful fish. Captain Chris. There it goes. Kind of like to let him get back a little bit of life, but he kicked out of my hands pretty good. He is working his tail off to work. today. I tell you, it's it's going on 12:30 now, and uh, the bite has been really slow. But this wind, like you said, the wind kicks up, gets the water moving just a little bit. Turn that bite on. Time to R&D some more rod. Let's get another one. I'm ready to get this blue rod bent again. Talk about a good feeling stick. Balanced or what? Ready. <laughs> Dude, those tails this morning were absolutely incredible. Yeah, I don't care how many times I see that. It still gets me shaking like you're on a deer or something like that. It's the adrenaline rush. That's why we do it. <laughs> it might be a group of, I see a lot of mud up here, not about another 50 yards, right on the inside edge of the grass right there. How far? 70, 80 feet. Oh yeah, look at them. They're high riding. That's on the money. All oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I think I threw it in his mouth. <laughs> Oh, you gotta love when the Lord finally turns the light switch on, huh? He says, okay, fish, it's time for y'all to eat. Even if they are this size right here. Uh, this rod just, you know, it don't give them a chance anymore. <laughs> well, this is just a little dude, but you know what? It's a red fish. And one thing good, there is plenty of these redfish here in Mesquite Lagoon now. Uh, the trout, the snook, and everything else this year took a real bad hit with the, uh, with the winter we had. There was a buddy of mine that was on the 
inside of Hallover Canal sitting on the Mosquito Lagoon side and took a water degree temperature reading of 36.8 degrees this year. That's cold in Florida. Probably killed about all the snook here in Mosquito Lagoon, but over in the Indian River, they were able to survive because it's a lot deeper and uh, just took a real big hit. The trout took a hit too, so, you know, can't tell you what to do, but I'd say, if you want more trout, let them go this year. Snook too, we are. I'm gonna catch another redfish. Y'all stay tuned, we'll be right back. <laughs> Oh, that is there or what? Right in his mouth. Jeez, a whiz. He must have saw that one flying in the air to him. <laughs> 